the characters are the same as uh, 64, as far as I understand, but they have different backstories and different personalities, which is kind of strange. I say Kappa for rigged emote. <laughs> Why Why should it be the Kappa for rigged, though? I feel like the Kappa should just be for creep, or like I said, deadbeat dad. <laughs> just have Eco hold it. <laughs> Come up here and hold the TV. <laughs> just stand here, I'll stream, and hold the TV. Oh, also, I might as well do this. So we have a party command, which will give some info about uh, Thursday, which if you guys don't know, Thursday is my birthday, so we're having like a party stream. We're going to be starting early at 5 instead of 7.30, and we're going to do a subathon, and there's going to be lots of fun stuff. So join if you can. Holy crap. That was thunder. Well, fingers crossed. We don't lose power. All real. He's, he's a little concerned. Hi, buddy. Okay. Bye. That was loud. You rigged yourself by marrying him? I didn't marry him. I didn't marry him. First Harvest Me Games was Wonderful Life. Spent all my time giving Ruby flowers. Because I wanted to marry her, lost the game because I didn't get married by the end of year one. Oh no, Sir Chen. I didn't know you had to get married by the end of year one in uh, A Wonderful Life. Alright. So it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. Let me double check and see if there are any festivals. Uh, fireworks display. We might be able to ask uh, Popori to that. I don't know if they need to be at Blue Heart or if purple will work. We'll have to see. Oh, hey, there's that guy. I was right, the bees around here are a rare species. Okay. Hi, Waffles. Thanks for that delicious honey the other day. The minute I tasted it, I realized these might be the bees I've been looking for. <laughs> Not the bees. That's why I came here. These are them. Because these bees are so rare, I think you can get a higher price for the honey. I'll tell the buyer about it. See you. Oh, I'll take one of those bees. Thank you. What are you going to do with that bee, sir? Excuse me. What are you doing with that bee? What are you doing for that bee? With that bee, are you gonna are you gonna eat it? I don't know. He kind of seems like he would eat it. I'm just saying. Bees. <laughs> going through all the trouble to marry the green creep to get nothing is rigged. I would say going through all the trouble to marry the green creep to get nothing is stupid. But <laughs> or pointless. <laughs> He's coming for them bees. You can only marry Celia, Muffy, or Nami. Ruby was already married, but Kid Me didn't realize that. Aww. Third chan. Deal sing singular B. Hey, Mang. He just wants, he just wants one of them bees. It's, it's gonna happen. You guys know what's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger dibber. Bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger dibber. Bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the bass. Bump to the bump to the bump. Bump to the bump to the bump to the bass. Bump to the bump to the bump. Bump to the. Okay. Anyway, we can get honey every day now. And it sells for a little bit more because he looked at it and stole a bee. So, that is a thing. I feel accomplished, though. I mean, we got that done, and we got the power berry. 
though, I mean, we're pretty much set. Can hardly believe he stole one of your bees, you know? You know... If you could be a homewrecker in Story of Seasons, you'd marry Brad. I mean, that would be an interesting mechanic. <laughs> if you could... <laughs> break up somebody <laughs> and date them. Alright, I guess that's the only thing I have in my bag. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna grab some of these, take them to Karen, I can find her, is the real question. It would revolutionize the farming sim genre. I mean, I don't remember putting that egg in there, but okay. I mean, I guess I did. With all that. I actually don't think you need to pick up your chickens because they do not, they don't, they don't have hearts or anything. So I think you just need to feed them. But I don't know for sure. Hi, Knit. You would be the biggest home wrecker if given the chance. Well, if I ever make a game, I know what you guys want. What else do you want aside from <laughs> being able to be a home wrecker. Come here, hash brow. Oh. Come over here. Hold still. Hey. Alright, I got I got him. I got him. You want hot daddies? Okay. A dance club? I really wish I knew how to make a game because I think it would be super funny to just be like, okay, what do you guys want? And then just put all this random stuff in a game because chat asked for it. But I do not have those skills. Make a game. Your dad went for Nami because she likes redheads. Or because he likes redheads. That's interesting that your dad played Harvest Moon. I never knew any like adults who played Harvest Moon when I was a kid. I just had one friend who played. And my dad played like Halo and stuff. And then uh, one of my friend's dads who played video games, he played Zelda. But I never knew any, any adults who played Harvest Moon, so that's interesting. Okay, I think I got everything. I was actually introduced to Zelda because my friend's dad was playing Ocarina of Time. <clears throat> and I was mesmerized by that game. Like, we weren't allowed to play it, because I think he was afraid we'd, like, mess up his save, which is, you know, valid. We weren't allowed to play it, but, like, I was just mesmerized by that game. I thought it was so cool. And, you know, so I wanted it. Well, guess what I got? I got Majora's Mask, and it terrified me, so... What do you think? I think it's a hammer. Thank you for my hammer.
Your dad's been playing since the beginning. I was raised on a lot of games. He played like Dynasty Warriors, Harvest Moon. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Sir Chen. You and your mom played Harvest Moon all the time? That's so cool. Your mom played Harvest Moon? I mean, I was, I was kind of raised on like, I mean, aside from what my friends were playing at the time, my grandfather really liked video games. He, he would mostly play PC stuff though. So I grew up watching him play Myst and stuff like that. And then I had a bunch of uh, PC games growing up. It is locked. Oh yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Duh. Not uh, Karen. All your dad played was Tomb Raider. I mean, Tomb Raider's a good series. Good lord, Umbreons. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit, Umbreons. Is Karen up at the... Hot Spring? Even if she was, by the time I'd get there... I'd probably be gone. I mean, I guess if I wait long enough, she might go to the bar. Your uncle and cousins showed you video games. Your parents never played them. Karen! Karen, no. Karen, Karen, Karen. Have a flower. Tra Trapper. She can't leave. Karen, have another flower. Karen, have another flower. Karen! Okay, well, I, I need that, but, you know. Okay, I will do that. Been trying to convince your dad to get Tree of Towns for a while. He's currently playing through Portia. Portia takes a while. <laughs> Portia took quite a long time for me to finish, so it might be a while. <laughs> Tree of Towns is really good, though. Oh. Okay, you do that, sir. I don't know if I can break these ones with this hammer or if I have to upgrade it for- No, I got silver. I didn't just do copper, so I might be okay. For some reason, I thought I only did uh, one, but I did two levels, so. And finally get rid of these giant rocks that have been ruining my life since I moved here. Karen! Bonk a bonk! Stupid rock. Okay. Do not have enough. <laughs> Damn it. You know, you know, any more. Take some away from the the chicken area. Not that I ever let them outside anyway, but you know, just in case. Can I break these? I feel like I can. It probably just takes a lot. Hi, hey, DJM. Your dad said when he played through the. This game in Friends of Mineral Town, he always went for Karen because he hated Rick. <laughs> he also made sure that Papori and Kai got married because Rick hates Kai. That's amazing. I also hate Rick, so. That's pretty amazing. Come on. I need one. Do I need 
It was a good try. You don't remember your first game? My first game was probably Sonic, but I don't know for sure. I was so young at the time, because my dad had a Sega. And uh, it was probably that, although I had a few games for the Sega, which he eventually gave to me. It was probably the Sega if it wasn't a uh, PC. You're playing Stardew for Switch. I need to import Stardew. Because I want the physical version for Switch, but it's Japan only. So I was thinking about importing it. Thank you for those biddies. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna pass out. Ah, I should go to the hot spring. Hello, blue beast. Also, it looks like uh, the bleeding heart, like the bleed purple thing is still happening. So if you do give bits, if you use the um, bleed purple, you, uh, you give like 10% more. to the streamer, which is pretty cool. You just realized her name is Popori. Definitely thought it was like Popori. <laughs> That's amazing. Your earliest memories are playing Pokemon Blue. Aw. That's cute. Your mom loved me, Alf. I played the heck out of Pokemon when I was a kid. And even though, you know, red and blue were pretty much the same except for a few exclusives, I had to have both. I never got silver, though. But I did get gold and crystal. I was never given silver. But I have it now, so it's all good. Bump to the boot to the No! <laughs> Girl, thank you for those hundred biddies. Plus plus ten. For the bleed purple. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Curl. All right, so I don't know if we need to ask today or tomorrow for the fireworks. I will try today and see. The earliest you can remember is playing Donkey Kong Country with your dad. Oh, that's really sweet. I don't really have early memories of playing video games. Uh, oh my goodness. Dragon, thank you for the 15 and one biddy. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't really have early memories of playing games with my dad. I have, I was older. Uh, whenever I would visit him, we would go to Blockbuster and rent games a lot of the time because he had an Xbox. So that's where I first played Halo, which I really liked. And um, Baldur's Gate we rented, which was so good. 
which I know a lot of people are like, no, PC is better, which... I don't know, I've never played the PC one, but I loved Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I think we got Dark Alliance 2 was the one that we played through. We rented that a couple times, it's super good. And it was a lot of fun playing co-op. Okay, why are some of you... That's alarming. Might have been one of those times where my watering can ran out and I didn't realize it. Oh boy. So I have a few of those memories. And then, like I said, I, I would always watch my grandfather play stuff. But a lot of stuff I played with my cousin or my friends because all of my friends were into games growing up. Like my best friend also had a Sega, so she had Golden Axe, which was awesome. And then she had The Sims. She introduced me to The Sims. And then my other friend had an N64. So... Action RPGs were like the only co-op games back then. Played a ton of them, even the bad ones like the EQ action RPG. I do not know what that is. Ever EverQuest? Maybe I'm wrong. Streets of Rage is so good. I should not get all of these flowers yet. I should go take care of the chickens first. EverQuest, yeah, that's what I thought. have to do anything other than feed the chickens. I don't think I have to pick them up because it's not showing a heart or anything when I, you know, pick them up and put them down. So. You would do franchise mode in Madden. That's cool. My dad and I played through um, Mortal Kombat, the one co-op together. I think it was Shaolin Monks, I think is the one. I don't remember. We played through that together. Salt Star Power! Josh, thank you so much for the resub for 12 months. So many months. A 12 month streak, my goodness. Josh says, one whole year, I'd like to thank the Academy, Agent 47, Farming, and Saltaro. As you should. Thank you so much, Josh. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you for joining us as well. Let's not uh, ax my horse. How about we don't, how about we don't do that? You're not too much of an online gamer. I normally am not, but because Kat and I like to play games together, I do play online more now, simply because uh, she and I live so far apart. If we lived close together, we would definitely do couch co-op all the time. Um, sadly, we don't. But uh, she's the main reason why I play more online stuff. The only like online game that I really play with randos is probably Splatoon. I don't usually uh, like playing online stuff. Oh, you know what? Fine. I'll come back later. Fine. Let's not ask him a question. Let's not. Speaking of Sega, though, I think one of the incentives we're gonna do for the subathon is, uh, is Lion King on Sega Genesis, which is notoriously difficult, and uh, a game I had as a kid. So I thought that might be a fun game to stream, though so that'll probably be one of the incentives on Thursday.
Hash brow. <laughs> Hash brown wouldn't fit. You had Lion King for Sega? Yeah. Wasn't it freaking hard? Karen? <laughs> Karen, where are you? Why do you do this to me? <sighs> he probably is at the freaking... I don't know why I didn't just go there. Why didn't I just go there? It would have been faster. Maybe she'll come over to the bar. I'm just wait for her here. Karen. Lion King, Dragon, Salty about it. Did you play it, Dragon? Now that I'm an adult, I'm finding out about the games I would have loved as a kid. <laughs> Lion King, oh lord. Only ever got as far, th far as the stampede. I played that game a lot as a kid, so I actually got really far. Um, I think I got to the first level where Simba was an adult. Either the first one or the second one. And uh, I did eventually beat it. Not when I was a kid. When I was an adult, um, I, I beat it. That was a while ago. So... I think that might make for a fun stream. But that game is freaking hard. Aaron, accept my garden! There are a few Lion King games, yeah. Um, the Sega Genesis one is also on Super Nintendo. And then there's one on PS1 that is uh, supposedly garbage. But the second one's good, but it's really difficult. Karen! You still have the nightmares, never managed to get to adult Simba. It's really hard. And they made it really difficult on purpose. So that kids uh, couldn't beat it if they rented the game. They couldn't beat it. And then that would entice them to buy it. Fun fact. So. I watched her beat it. It was unbelievable. Well, like... Even just the second level with the stupid monkey puzzle was garbage. Karen, come on. Are you gonna get crunk or not? It'd be funny if every gift you gave someone ended up in their house and then you enter their house and you suffocate to death from all the flowers. That'd be kind of hilarious. Oh, thanks, Dragon. It was such a long time ago, though. I'm out of practice, so I don't know how this is gonna go. But, uh... Alright, I don't think, I don't think Karen's gonna show up. go home and be alone yes please stream it like I said it'll be a sub incentive so save your save your subs if you can for Thursday also gifted subs will count so it'll probably be like five subs this ten subs this etc so if we hit those goals then we'll uh then we'll do those streams because there's going to be a few with eco as well like until dawn we were talking about that uh call of cthulhu so i'll just go to bed with these flowers i guess fine you still beat it that's enough for celebration oh my gosh i felt so vindicated dragon that game haunted my childhood and i finally beat it and it was amazing These Umbreons. These. These. Well, I have this now. How am I supposed to pick up my dog? Well, damn. I didn't think that through, did I? You know... I'm just gonna go over here and give it to Papori so that I have... You know, I'm not just holding it. How many subs for more eco hit, man? 
Come on, get up here. Are they not gonna show up because it's festival day? Because if I'm, I'm gonna be upset. Platinum in Call of Cthulhu took forever. Literally got to the point where I could beat it in four hours, just skipping the dialogue and memorizing where everything was. Oh, jeez. Dedication. Can't wait for the Until Dawn one. I mean, if you watched the original Let's Play, you can hear Eco screaming in it. I think it was around episode eight or something like that. I was playing and he was watching and you can distinctly hear him scream. Fun fact. Dedication or stubbornness? What do you mean, really? I told you that, you knew that. Are you guys seriously not gonna show up? I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna start screaming. You were watching that. You are in the video. That's why you want to hear it again. <laughs> All right, fine. Was I supposed to ask somebody yesterday? Because if so, well, this is just baloney. <clears throat> and I don't know what to do. And I'm sad. Uh, maybe I just ask them there. Maybe I don't have to ask them ahead of time. I'm stuck. Will someone take this flower, please? Did everybody just decide to lock their doors? Well, everybody has locked me out. They clearly do not want me here. And I feel upset about it. People just not gonna be around all day until this evening. Is that how this day is gonna go? Is that how this day is gonna go? You know, I'm upset. Fine. Is the purge. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. I can litter. It's my own farm. So there. Of course there's a harvest. Of course there is when I have a, a full bag. Man, I need... Ooh, two big chickens now. I need... Storage in my house. That is what I need. You can save her for Thursday and not lose your streak. Yes, you can. Oh, also, I'm making a bunch of birthday alerts for Thursday, so we're gonna have all different alerts. Like, all completely different. Just for Thursday, they're gonna be birthday or party themed. Somebody getting some panties! Oh my goodness. An anonymous a gifter. Thank you for giving Queen Viper a sub. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous.
And now Viper can put her panties back on. It's about time, Viper. God. So much for saving it. Hi, hero. Boom, gift sub. Gifted panties. The best kind of gift. Also, the um, the gifted sub thing still is still gonna happen. So every 10 subs, I will gift a sub. So that can count towards uh, sub incentives for the party. But yes, new all new alerts, birthday or party themed. I was working on them today and I hope you like them. But I thought that would be super fun as well. We're gonna do that. I need to harvest this corn. I can do that when I come home though. I'm gonna be late on Thursday. Oh, no worries, Umbreons. I mean, we're gonna be going for a while. We're gonna be going for a while. That is not what I wanted. We're gonna be playing some Mario Party and some Hitman because there is a challenge where you have to smother somebody in their own birthday cake and I thought that would be pretty, you know, that'd be pretty on theme. So we're gonna give that a try. And there could be more games. You never know. Might as well just mash this rock while I wait for the fireworks. I wish there was another, like, I wish there was a, uh, a Hitman level where you you have to be the clown. Like, you have to be a kid's birthday clown. And then, like, you have to, like, do a routine and then also assassinate somebody in the level. there's actually any levels where you have to go as the clown. Does this start at five or six? Oh, I don't know. So we might as well head over there. Hello there! Hi, Steph Aru. Thank you for the paw. I love the determined look on your farmer's face when he's hitting the rock. He's very determined. He's a determined boy. He's a determined waffle. This sounds lovely. <laughs> Okay, firework time. Karen, can I give these to her? What's up, are you looking for someone to, somebody to watch with? Yes. You wanna watch with me? Sure, okay. Ha ha! Oh, okay, well I didn't, I didn't really have a chance to talk to anybody else, but that's fine. I'll just hold this flower. Very romantic. I like the fact that the fireworks come and go in an instant, changing shape as they die. I can't take my eyes off them. I mean, you could look at me, I'm pretty cute. I guess she's not gonna ask about the flowers. Oh, okay, I am alone. Karen, do you want this? My parents say they don't have to come here because they can watch from home, but it's much better here. I would agree with that. Are you kidding me, girl? You don't even have a blue heart after that? Girl, I brought these flowers for you. I've been carrying these flowers on my pants for days. You know. Well, that was impressive. Your face isn't impressive. Ha, got him. Hi, Papori. 
I can still see fireworks when I close my eyes. Well, that doesn't sound good. You might want to see a doctor. Grandpa did a good job. It was the tube, wasn't it? What? It was the tube? You know, I think this is the same display we watched from my hometown. I doubt it. Best place to watch fireworks is from the beach. Agreed? That was beautiful, wasn't it? It must have been very hard to make all of that. Okay. Do always begs me to take him to the fireworks display, but he can never stay awake. He'll be mad again tomorrow. I forgot we got her to a blue heart. Oh, I'm too excited to go to sleep yet. And are you... No, you're purple. Okay. Well, I can't give anybody these 57 flowers that I'm carrying around, so I'm just gonna leave. Fine. Watching the fireworks from Mineral Beach was spectacular. I get why Kita likes Karen now. <laughs> oh shit. I couldn't harvest the corn. I didn't... I thought I'd be able to go home and not just immediately go to sleep, but you know, whatever. All that corn? Could've made money? Alright, um, did we ever name one oatmeal? Was that the last one? I feel like I'm gonna accidentally name it the same thing, so. Uh, what are your, what are your suggested breakfast names? Please suggest them now, because I think the last one we did was oatmeal, but I really can't remember. I gotta check on that. Okay, slushy. That was an odd noise you just made. Oatmeal was the last one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna slurp in your ear for a minute. Rice crispy. Oh, you mean the cereal? I was gonna say, you eat Rice Krispies for breakfast? Hmm. Bye, Wolf Prince. I like toast, but I might want to save that. I might want to save that. All right, we'll go with smoothie for this one then. Smoothie it is. I do like toast. We'll eventually be getting more animals. I just gotta get that booty first, you know? I have my priorities straight. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Buttered toast. Alright, hold on. I gotta see what their what their names are because I have forgotten. <laughs> uh, egg has four hearts and hash brow has three, so that's good. We've got some money. We have 11% all of a sudden. We have a couple power berries. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have pancakes, oatmeal, corn flack, and smoothie. Good. They're all like four days apart. Okay. Sounds good. Puppy, you need to stop phasing into the wall and stuff. Hi, Lucas. Donut, that's a good one. All right, sunny tomorrow, what a shocker. Uh, no more festivals, okay. So the next uh, birthday we have is Karen's and that is not until the middle of fall, so we are good for a while. We are good for a while. Bagel is the blander backup. Well, I guess I'll just take this with me then. Jam, that's a good one. 
If you name one of the cows coffee, you should name another donut. And then you have my quick breakfast. <laughs> it's a good plan. I think I can spa boil them from here. Yeah. All right, come on, Anne. Come on, Anne. Anne loves spa boiled eggs. Come on, Anne. Probably gonna be like, no, on Fridays, for some stupid reason, she does not appear there because, oh no, she does, it's fine. I was about to get salty. Here you go. Is that for me? Wow, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Papori, I just, you're just gonna get all these flowers because I am tired of having them in my inventory. So just sit back and accept it. Instead of giving you a bouquet, I could just give you each flower individually. Oh, she's at a green heart. Holy crap. Well, hot damn. As soon as I have a lot of money, we can just give Karen just a bucket of wine. And then, you know, we'll be in business. talk to him. I may not be able to go in there until 9 o'clock. I want to see what we need for the house upgrade because I need storage. Don't they get jealous? Nope. They don't. They do not get jealous. You have uh, rivals. But uh, the girls don't get jealous of each other. Time to water and harvest the corn. Also, I really gotta watch because see what ends up happening is like one gets missed when I run out of uh, water in the watering can. So I gotta pay more attention to that because I think that's what happened with the pineapples. You know what I mean? Only one or two Harvest Moon games have a jealousy feature. That's what you did with Karen, just like loaded her up on wine. <laughs> We're enabling. Probably not be doing it. Take care of the horse and then harvest the corn. There, there, Hashbrow. Hashbrow, if you tried to escape, I swear. I swear. Sorry, Viper. Salt crystal power! Stargazing. Thank you so much for the reset for 16 months. Stargazing is on a 16 month streak. Goodness. All right, I'm upset about my watering can. Goodness gracious, stargazing. Thank you for that reset. Stargazing says no comment. <laughs> oh, I have four chickens now, so I need to make sure I feed all of them. I wonder if it's Friends of Mineral Town where you have to pick them up and put them down. Maybe that's why I just do that instinctively. Excuse you, chicken. You cannot escape break for it.
All right, I'm gonna grab some of these flowers. And I'm gonna see if I can catch uh, Karen. I keep forgetting to harvest the corn. Well, it's gonna have to wait. You're exhausted. Well, come come join us as we try to uh, woo everyone. Stargazing. Just relax and enjoy this. Harvest the total corn. I will. I just keep forgetting. Aaron, you can have these. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this one. And this one. This one too. That that's all I have. Okay. Hi, I'm Dandy. Are you telling me you don't have a blue heart yet, ma'am? Ma'am, we watched fireworks together. Karen, accept the garden. I'm buying the basket. I'm buying it. This is mine now. Haha. -ha. Get. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, don't leave it there. Remember the fireworks? Karen, I grew you an entire garden. It is filled with my love. Exactly that. I can't believe that we have... We've almost done the entire summer. We're, we're almost out of summer. And we have not seen Kai's events. Like the rival events for Popori. What is up with that? What is up with that? It's not for lack of trying. I have tried. Papori's already in love with you. Yep, that's it. He just loves me so much. Let's harvest the corn. Like 90% of Harvest Moon games, you have to pick up and drop your chickens for hearts. Yeah, I think I'm just thinking of uh, Friends of Mineral Town, and that's probably why I'm, I just kind of do it automatically. Hey, Tim. Alright, the corn has been harvested. We need those pineapples, though. That's gonna make us some serious bank. Serious bank. Are there any more big rocks that I can get rid of? Let's see. And here's one.
There's a clown hitman level. It's an escalation challenge in Paris. Interesting. I kind of wanted like an assassination though. Like its own level. The clown deserves his own level. But I mean, I could probably look into that one. You said it was on Paris? I could probably look into that one. Maybe for Thursday. I feel like that's in theme. You know, birthday theme. I have not played Tales of Two Towns. That one I have not played. All right, I think I think all the rocks are gone. It was pretty great. You have to KO a fashion designer with your special clown bat that makes confetti explosions? Well, that sounds like a very birthday thing that we could do. After, you know, smothering the other man in his cake. I was just trying to figure out um, different things I could do in, in the same game because uh, I'm gonna have to switch between consoles for Mario Party, obviously, so I'm trying to keep them together. You know what I mean? Puppy dog! Birds! You've played Tale of Two Towns, not your favorite. Don't like how you had to choose between farming and taking care of animals. That's odd. So what are your favorite Harvest Moon games then? Cat. We only have a couple days left, pineapples. You need to get on growing. I'm a little nervous. Oh, come on. Watering can. Your favorite is DS only because it was your first English Harvest Moon game. Yours has to be Sunshine Islands or Islands of Happiness. You love it glitch and all. Favorites are Magical Melody, Island of Happiness, Animal Parade, and Trio of Towns. Chickens, thank you for your contribution to my pocket. They're very similar games, mostly the same cast even. Oh, okay. Those are probably the ones that I picked up the most, like most recently. Uh, Sunshine, I think it was Sunshine Islands. I found it at a game store. And it was complete, so I picked it up. When I got, uh... When I got more Friends of Mineral Town to replace my freaking bootleg copy. That I'm still salty about. Yeah, 
Here's our Magical Melody and Animal Parade. Magical Melody, another one for life or tide. For first with Animal Parade, Tree of Tranquility in second, and Sunshine in third. Sunshine Island. Hmm. Also really like DSQ. There is no escape. Accept it. Sunshine Island is your favorite. I love how everyone's favorites are ones that I have not played. <laughs> Your least favorite is Grand Bazaar, simply for the fucking A and B button control switch from every other Harvest Moon game. Why would they do that? That just seems silly. Oh no! <laughs> switch in. That sucks. I haven't played it since. <laughs> I get you though. I get that frustration. <laughs> That's totally understandable. I didn't. Thank you, DJM. Um, Kaisenberg, did you wanna? You donated the other night, and uh, I didn't get a chance to ask you. Did you wanna put your donation towards chaos or order? We have two different donation jars, and you can put your donation towards either either of those things. All right, Anne. My chickens made these for you this morning. That sounds weird, but you know. Come on, Anne. You go with chaos. Got you. Let me pause real quick so that I can do that. This is what. The jars look like so far. Chaos is in the lead by a bit. But, you know, we could have a comeback. We could have a comeback. For the sake of, for the sake of, uh, keeping everything tidy and, uh, not having to shrink everything down, I'm going to round. Just because if people start doing weird amounts a lot, that, that would be kind of, uh, difficult to keep up with. So I'm going to round to 123, which I hope is okay. And I will add your name to the jar. That's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. 
Let's move you up. There we go. So that is what the jars are looking like. So far, Chaos is still winning. Still winning. But, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Chaos, one, two, three. <laughs> A lot of the characters were bland in Grand Bazaar. That's unfortunate. Pokemon X and Y were your favorite for the customization. You love Professor Layton? Aw. My grandfather loves Professor Layton. That's the only reason he bought a 3DS. I told him the next one is coming out on Switch and he's like, I'm not buying a Switch. It's like, well, I don't know what to tell you then. It sounds like a you problem. Rip. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna check and see if Karen is over here first. No. Grand Bazaar also had a jealousy system. Did your grandfather hear about the Switch Lite? Maybe he'd like it better. Um, he has not. I, I would have to tell him about that. He might prefer the Switch Lite because it's, you know, a lot less expensive and it doesn't have a dock. So, he might go for that. You know, fine, fine. I won't have the freaking rival event be like that. Here, Karen, have another garden. <gasps> Karen! Come on! The crap! Where are you all day? Here, you have this one, Ellie. I don't feel like carrying it around. It's fine. I've given you, you know, like 200 of these so far. It's fine. Karen, take my card. I just picture that's like I just picture us going up to her and screaming <laughs> these things. Karen! Karen, take my garden! She'll show up around 8. Okay, because she didn't last time. Maybe it was just the wrong day. Well, I'll just wait here then. I'll just wait here, Karen! It's not like I have a life. It's not like I have other things that I could be doing right now. It's fine. It's a fine Karen. Karen, take my garden sounds like a top 40 balance. 
What rhymes with Karen? I guess you could, like, do Karen, like, caring. Baron is in a, in the supermarket in a private room. You know, Karen, you're making this really difficult. You're making, you know, marrying you really difficult. And I just, I'm just not about that. You know? It's almost your birthday. Thank you for that email, bank. I didn't even know. Oh, Nintendo also emailed me about Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I cannot read right now because Karen should be coming to the bar. Karen. Maybe she gave up drinking unless she went in when I didn't see her. Oh, God. Patience. Okay, she is not here by the beach. Okay. Garden does not rhyme with Karen, but good try. <laughs> we could just change her name to Carden. Finally, geez. So I guess uh, during, what, during summer maybe, she just gives up drinking and comes down here instead. Karen, why won't you love me? I do like the sea. Karen? I'm trying here. I'm trying here. I'm stargazing. He likes to hang out at the beach on the weekend. Hmm. Well, at least I know where to go if uh, she doesn't show up at the bar. Oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. Good. If you could have an unusual pet, what would it be? Uh, probably a big cat. Like a lion or a tiger or something. Oh, I threw my tomato. Well, you know. Like, when I was a kid, I loved Aladdin and Lion King. Lion King's my favorite Disney movie, and Aladdin was, like, my second favorite. So I always thought it was cool that Jasmine had, you know, a pet tiger. I always wanted a giant cat. always my favorite Disney princess, so, you know. Oh good, these are all done. I'm actually just gonna get the basket then. Probably 
might still be faster if I just grab it, put it in my inventory, and then throw it in the basket. I have not seen the remake yet. Eventually. Heard bad things about it. Yeah. I mean, we saw Beauty and the Beast and it was okay, but it wasn't amazing. And in that way, it was kind of disappointing. But it's really hard to just, you know, beat the original because the original was so good. That's why everybody loved it. So. I don't expect it to be amazing, but at the same time, I'm interested to see what they did with it. Hi, Silver Eyes. Most of the live actions are meh. comes out, I think, the day after my birthday. I think it comes out on Friday. But I don't, I don't know, because it doesn't have the same voice cast, and that's gonna be weird, I feel like. So, I don't know. Like, I'll probably see them, you know, to see them, but I'm not really expecting anything. See you later, Sir Chan. Isn't Timon the only original voice? Uh, I... I don't think even Timon has the same voice, does he? I thought Mufasa did, but... I don't even know for sure. Uh, Mufasa was James Earl Jones. Scar was Jeremy Irons, I believe. OG, but I think I think Mufasa is the same. The only return is James Earl Jones. Okay, that's what I thought. Which is such a shame, because, like, the original cast was so good. And I think it'll just be weird to not have that. You know? Okay, I think that's it. We should be making bank today, though. All those onions. I think we can get uh, Anne's blue heart event pretty soon because I think we only need three grown-up chickens and we have two. And one of these guys should be grown up soon, so. Reviews I saw said it was weird because it looks amazing and real. But because they don't emote, like, hand-drawn cartoons, it can lose a lot. It makes sense. Personally, not going to spend money on the live-action remakes. You want original content, not just cash-grab remakes. That, I get that. 
I totally get that. I mean, the originals are going to be better. That's just kind of a given. It was cool, though, because I think it was a couple years ago they um, re-released Lion King in theaters, and Eco and I went to see it, which was a lot of fun. I kind of almost rather they do that. <laughs> you know, just re-release them in theaters and... and stuff. It's just, it's interesting to see the interpretation, I guess, live action. Like, I kind of like seeing the differences. Free scumbags, it's the cops! And this is our crime scene! Free scumbags. Hi, Kuri. I forgot to add a raid call, but hi. <laughs> hi, Kuri, how you doing? And raiders, welcome, welcome. There's a Kuri in town. I mean, that works. I am stuck on the steps. It's fine. You're playing Dragon Quest Builders. How is that? Builders 2. How was that? Daddy Defenders! Get those drill daddies out. Super good. What were you playing on? Like, what um, system? Streets of Rogue is really fun. Awesome. I watched a little bit of you playing it. It seemed like you were having a good time. It's on the Switch. Sweet. Honey, tomorrow. I don't care about the news. Leave me alone. <laughs> My pineapple's done. Hey! Well, some of them are. The other ones should be done tomorrow. But I'll take it. The stupid thing about pineapples is that they grow back. And it takes 21 days for them to mature. So you pretty much need a hothouse to benefit from growing them. I mean, you still make decent money and stuff, but... It still baffles me why they didn't include the hothouse in Friends of Mineral Town. I just don't understand. Ooh, three grown chickens. Umbreons, do you know how to trigger the, uh, the Anne event? I have not seen the new Jungle Book. I was not really a fan of the Jungle Book. Like, I never really got into it when I was a kid. I think I only saw, I might have only seen it, like, one time or bits and pieces of it. But I was kind of indifferent to the Jungle Book. So I really had no interest in seeing a live-action version. But anyway, Raiders, this is Harvest Moon Back to Nature, which is on the PS1. And uh, we're about to go into fall of year one. We're romancing everybody. Because why not? fan of the air of Disney movies they're turning into live action movies. Lacious, you are hurting my heart. Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King. I love them. I think it should activate when you leave your house on a sunny day. Okay, so hopefully we'll get it tomorrow then.
you don't like musicals. Bad news. Are you planning on marrying anybody? Yes, we're gonna marry Karen. Because Karen is best girl. We're gonna marry her. And we're going to help her with her drinking problem. <laughs> I'll see you later, Wolf. Have a good time. I hope you enjoy the movie. Oh, I love Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd's so good. I have to say my favorite Disney film is Aladdin and then Toy Story. Both good choices. The Aladdin one is good from what you heard. Let's grab all of these flowers. I think you only saw Beauty and the Beast once. You mean the cartoon version? It's good. I like it a lot. Oh, that's interesting, Viper. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's uh I think it's good to just not go in with any expectations, you know. And just kind of take it for what it is. Are you really gonna have to wait until evening, Karen? Because I. Uh, come on. Just come on, man. Fine. I'll give them to Ellie. Fine. She likes them more anyway, so fine. He was too much of an asshole. <laughs> what a beast. He chills out eventually. <laughs> Karen would not avoid me. Look at my hot bod. Can't help herself. Oh god, Vera. <laughs> Yours will always be Lilo and Stitch. I love Lilo and Stitch. I love that movie a lot. So many feels moments in Lilo and Stitch. It's so good. I feel like it's really underrated too. I actually had a Stitch game for the PS2. Um, I may actually have... Uh, I might have it now. I didn't for a while. Because I think it was one of those games that I got rid of when I purged some games when I was stupid and discovered eBay. Um, but I think I have it now. It's called Stitch Experiment 626, I think. And it was actually not a bad game. Fun fact. Uh, yes, I will be getting the remake of Friends of Mineral Town. Alright, well, it's raining, so Karen's not going to be here. I might as well chop this down. Why not? I'm here. I'm here. Might as well. You had a Stitch GBA game? Oh, interesting. I never had it for handhelds. There's also a PS1... 
Lilo and Stitch game, but I, I don't think it was very good. But I never played it myself, so I don't know for sure. But the Stitch one was pretty good on PS2. You had no clue there were Stitch games? Yep, there were Stitch games. Um, in that one, you play Stitch as uh, kind of, you focus more on an, him being an alien, and you have different powers and stuff, and you can, like, swing around. That's mostly what I remember. I'll accept orders during my break. Excuse me, princess. What did you do with that bee, sir? I need to know, what did you do with the bee? What about now? It's time to rock with the big the bump bumble. I need to know. The Stitch PS2 game was hard. I love the PC game. Which PC game? I want the B back. <laughs> Give me the B back. Give me the B back, free muscle. All right. I'm just gonna drop these down so that I can uh, get closer to upgrading my axe eventually. Plus, I need the wood for uh, house upgrades. I don't remember how much it costs. I was gonna ask him, but he was like, I'm on break, get out. So I was like, okay, well. Puppies. You put it in his bonnet. You have the Lilo and Stitch computer game still? Really? I don't think I... I don't think I have any of the computer games. I do have a lot of Disney computer games, and I really do want to play them once we get the PC situation figured out. Which, fun fact, I tried again to get the computer to work, and it's just, I think the motherboard just died. So I gutted the entire thing. I ripped out all the parts. So they are sitting in a pile on the table in the kitchen. So, I'm just going to try to build one at this point. I'm just going to try to build an old PC because, you know, my my other attempts have not gone well because, you know, when the motherboard's dead, you're kind of just screwed. Um, and the laptop didn't work out because the it, it wouldn't capture the sound. <gasps> so I had to send that back. So, you know. Salt Star Power! Kira, thank you so much for that sub. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Uh, feel free to join the Discord if you want. Anybody in chat can join the Discord. You don't have to be a sub, but we do have a special sub only channel if you are subbed. So, thank you so much. Aaron, you are not at the bar. I'll talk to Ann while I'm here. Your PC is a potato. Can't replace the graphics card since it's built in. The graphics card is built in? You could probably add a graphics card, like a different one. Or just build a new PC. I mean, I built this one. I feel like I can build an older one. You just have to be aware of like compatible parts and drivers and all that crap. So I do have to do some research before I do it, but I really want to play some old PC games because I have a stack of Disney old PC games and I think that'd be super fun to stream. Like, I have several Lion King ones, I have Mulan, I have, um, Tarzan, I think. I have a bunch. Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. I th yes, I believe I played that, yes. And I think I have it now. I have to double check. I have such a soft spot for old, like... PC games that I had as a kid are ones that I may not have had but were still kind of like games that I played so whenever I see them at Goodwill or uh, at a flea market or something I just can't help myself. <laughs> so I have a lot of I have 
a lot of old PC games. I gotta double check and make sure that my chicken's okay. Building a PC is a good idea. Despite the nightmare of building one, I still like my custom built PC over store bought. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. I love my PC. It's a beast. My beast. Okay, no, I did feed them. I was, I'm paranoid. Apparently. I'll see you later, Starlet. Oh god, Toy Story Dragon. Toy Story? I had that for the Sega Genesis as well, and fuck that. <laughs> Toy Story was so difficult. Holy crap. That one I really didn't have as much patience for than The Lion King, so I never got as far. My Disney crush. <laughs> My Disney crush. My Disney crush and first probably crush in my life, I think, was Jafar <laughs> from Aladdin. What can I say? I tend to go for, you know, the bad guys. The heroes are never as interesting to me. Milan was your first crush? Aw, dragon. Cute. Toy Story can die in a fire. That game was so hard. You go for older men. I mean, Ego's older than me. <laughs> Not by much, though. You had a crush on Maleficent? You liked Shang from Mulan? You fell in love with Jasmine? Jasmine. Best princess, I'm just saying. I did not play Zumbinis, uh, but I did watch Brutal Moose's video on Zumbinis, which was really fun. I would have liked it if I had that game as a kid. I think I have it now, though. I think I picked that up somewhere. You had a Monsters, Inc. game? I might have that now. I didn't growing up, but I think I do have a Monsters Inc. game. Maybe. You loved Zoom Beanies as a kid? <laughs> Belle was your first crush? I always liked Belle because I related to Belle. Does she just like to read? Just kind of a loner. Oh, you know, watering can. Fine. One of your first movie crushes was Morticia Adams. <laughs> That's awesome. I used to get told semi frequently that I looked like Wednesday Adams or Christina Ricci, who played her, and I was like, thank you. This is, this is an odd comparison, but thank you. Your first male crush is Hercules. <laughs> All right, I need this pineapple, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep watering them. They're not going to be ready. I don't think. I forget how many days it takes them to regrow. Hey, Umbreons. Movie-based games that generation were, were all hard as fuck. Well, Disney ones were meant to be. Because like I said, they didn't want people to beat them quickly if they rented them. So they made them really difficult so that um, it would be an incentive to buy the game and not just rent it. Fun fact.
Hercules was tainted since the Greek myth of how he killed his whole family painted a very biased picture. <laughs> Stargazing. I remember liking Hercules a lot as a kid. Because I liked Meg. I liked Megra. I liked her sass. I appreciated it. I still appreciate it. She's still amazing. And if you could show up, that'd be freaking great. Umbreons, do you know if it's a certain time that I need to be at my farm for Anne to show up? Might be around noon. Meg was a sass daddy. She's great and her song is great. Love it. I also liked, um... I liked her the Hercules levels in uh, Kingdom Hearts, like the Colosseum, in two especially, but I thought they were both pretty cool. Not in three so much, you know, but Kingdom Hearts one and two. Oh, what heart event are you trying to trigger? Anne's blue heart event, which I don't know if it'll trigger right away because she's not at a blue heart. Excuse you. Get your butt brushed. Horse. It didn't say when she would appear. You know? I'm gonna try going into my house and then leaving my house. Okay, fine, rude Anne. Rude Anne. Oh, I should go spa boil this egg and then go give it to her. I think I have a Hercules game too. PC. I never played the one that was on uh, PS1. I did play The Emperor's New Groove on PS1, and that game was very good. I liked it a lot. Karen! Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. I just know that it has to happen before five because that's when you're supposed to deliver the eggs to her. Deliver the eggs to her. Maybe, maybe her heart uh, level isn't high enough and that's why I didn't trigger yet. That could be. Yeah, and here's an egg boiled in a spa where everyone takes long baths. Shh. We're not going to tell her about that. We're not going to tell her that part. We're just going to tell her that we boiled it. She doesn't need to know where. The, mu the muses from Hercules. That's why you have to have chickens. She wants their eggs. Well, I would think that I would think that she would um, appear right away then, so it would give you enough time. I don't think she would show up halfway through the day if that's the case. So maybe we just don't have her heart high enough. You're so curious about the mystery game tomorrow. I mean, good luck guessing it. <laughs> good luck guessing it. You won't. Anne! Jeez! Oh, the gospel ladies? Okay. I, at first, I was thinking, like, the fates, and I was like, oh, no, the fates creeped me out so bad in Hercules. <laughs> but I, I know what you mean now. Oh, God damn. 
That is rude, you know? I mean, you can go ahead and guess if you want, but you're gonna be wrong. Calls expert spy to figure out the game. Good luck. Good luck. You're not gonna guess it, but good luck. Clearly it's gonna be Buck Bumble. Everybody keeps saying it's Buck Bumble. It's not Buck Bumble. Don't you think I would announce that? Don't you think I would announce that if we were gonna play Buck Bumble? It is not X-Men Origi Origins Wolverine. Oh, I loved Anastasia when I was a kid. And fun fact, I have an Anastasia game, so we could play that too. I loved that game. I played that a lot, actually. <laughs> you do you work in mysterious ways? I, I obviously do. I'm willing to wait as I know good things come to those who wait. It's true, Lumfreeze. I hope you guys are excited. I think you're going to be surprised by... Uh, I mean, obviously the game and the premise to the game. I was hoping Karen would be here. Maybe she'll show up a little later. Is it Superman 64? No, if we're doing Superman 64, there's going to be an incentive because come on. You guys are gonna have to pay me if you wanna see me play Superman 64. Also, I don't have Superman 64, so I would have to buy it. Oh God, Superman 64. I think she shows up at 7.30. Karen. Bye, Kai. Your favorite movie as a bab was Pocahontas. I liked Pocahontas. I always liked the part where she would like jump into the water. That was like my favorite part. Okay, you know, Karen, can you just, can you just? Typing it burned your finger. There is an Anastasia game. There is for PC. I don't know about uh, console, but there is for PC. Come on, Karen. Come on, Karen. You had a crush on Dimitri from Anastasia. Aw. You saw a bowling otter play Superman 64. <laughs> I sort of want to see you play Katamari. I'm not good at Katamari, though. The king, dad king, is always disappointed in me. And then I just feel bad. I'm not Karen. Thank you for asking, though. Karen, we need to talk, girl. We just need to have a long talk, okay? Oh, on weekdays, she's at the bar on the, at the beach on weekends. Okay. If someone in chat guesses the game, would you even admit it? I might, but you're not going to. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're not going to. It's a very obscure title, at least as far as I know. And I don't think many of you would have played it. You might admit it. God damn it, cat. Now I'm not going to her cat will know. I don't want cat to look up anything because it'll ruin it. I really just want to hear cat's reactions because I know, I know that it's just going to be her going, what? At least seven times. 
just in the beginning, in the opening, and it's just gonna get better from there. Does Karen stop drinking when you marry her? Sadly not. What? <laughs> just like that cat. I'm, I'm serious because I stumbled upon the game completely by chance and was like, what is this? And, and then I, I looked up some gameplay and, um, and now I know, and now I must share it with all of you. Can we at least know what console? Nope. Cat knows what console, I did tell her that. But, good luck. <laughs> good luck guessing. Why am I watering these? They're gonna die, it doesn't matter, nothing matters. All right. Ha! Goodbye, pineapples. I hardly knew you. And then in the end, she's gonna say stuff like, what a criminally underlooked game. Is it Egg Mania Extreme Madness? Um, Brianz, that's, that is hilarious and random and a beautiful guess, but it is not. But I appreciate you uh, guessing that. I feel like I've seen that game somewhere. Poor pineapples. I know. I'm sorry. I believe me. If I could sell them, I absolutely, I absolutely would go for it. I. But you know, we're at the end of summer, guys. We're going into fall, which is the best season because you can make bank. So, you know. Okay. So we're pretty much ready for fall crops. God help us all. Is it from the deep web? What? No? Is it Ethel the Aardvark goes quantify surveying? No. Hiya Theron, by the way. It's not like some weird flash game. It's not like that. It is a console game. I will give you that much. It is a console game. The hat in time crashed. Oh no, Silver Eyes. The game will teach you a lot of lessons about what not to do in life. I just want you to know I'm making a point while on vacation to make sure I tw check Twitch at 4.30 tomorrow. Good. Is it one of the promotional Burger King games? Red, that is an amazing guess, but it is not. Uh, someday, maybe. I don't have those games though, so I'd actually have to get them and I think they're kind of pricey. But believe me, also I think they're on the Xbox 360, which is just a giant pain in itself to have set up and record from, but maybe someday, Sneak King? I don't know why Automod didn't like that, Punchy, I'm sorry. That's very strange. Sneak King. Sims, no, it's not Sims. Sims is very, well, Sims is, is a game that most people, I would, I would think most people know of even if they haven't played it this game i would be very surprised if uh if any of you guys played this as a kid especially and if you guys uh know what it is sneaking is pretty expensive is it one of the cdi games <laughs> that would be amazing we do actually have a cdi fun fact i think we have two um, I don't remember if either of them work or not. I have to check with Eco, but I don't have the Zelda games. They're so expensive. They are so expensive. Horse, you cannot leave. Horse, how dare? Um, so they both work, do they? Well, I, 
I don't think we have anything decent for the CDI. I, okay, that's that seems very redundant. Like, anything good for the CDI, I don't think that exists, so I don't even know why I said that. But I don't think we have anything entertaining for the CDI. So we don't have Zelda or anything like that to play. Also, I mean, capturing the CDI, I, I don't know how well the Elgato would like that. I mean, I would absolutely try it, but I don't know. The Zelda games on CDI were terrible. They were, in fact, they were, yes. It was the third one that didn't read discs and was a piece of trash. Okay. Zelda games probably skyrocketed after AVGN did them. Yeah, probably. Hello there. They were expensive when he did them. When he covered them, they were pretty expensive. Is it one of the many Barbie games? It is not. Good guess, though. Again, I feel like people know about those, about the Barbie games. You mad? You remember Aaron from Game Drums spending hundreds of dollars to get a working CDI and then the Zelda game's not worth it. Yeah, it's crazy expensive. Especially just to get a system that works and then, and then to uh, get those games crazy expensive. Hey, free Barbie game. Free Barbie game. All right, let me well see. Well done. Thank you guys for following, by the way. When I'm rich, I'll get us the Zelda CDIs. Well, thank you, dear. Enlarge hen house. Do I have to do that before I can before I can uh, increase just my house? Probably. Five thousand. I don't know how much lumber I have. How much lumber? Probably not enough. Well, damn. Fine then. <laughs> All right. Let me check. That just came to mind and wanted to guess. I mean, it's not a bad guess. Someday, two seventeen. We are we are not great. You had a Barbie game. It was two and one, and Barbie was a spy. That's awesome. I'm telling you, we are gonna do Detective Barbie. I promise. Among a lot of other old PC games, since I build this PC. Is it Orion? You can correct me if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> game guess one, Billy Hatch and the Giant Egg. No, but I do have that game for GameCube. And that could be entertaining. Uh, Freaky Flyers, no. And I don't think I have that. You also wanna guess Zapper? What is, what is Zapper? I was not close enough. Was I? No, of course not. Okay, well, no. Fine. It's fine. Oh, I've never played any of the Genesis Barbie games. Is it a Mary Kate and Ashley game? It is not. But good guess. It is not like any game. It's not in any series or anything that we've played before because Kat and I did play Mary Kate and Ashley. Shameless promotion, it's on YouTube and it's fantastic. And sometime I'm gonna force her to play the other ones cause I do have them uh, on PS1 at least. So eventually we'll be playing more Mary Kate and Ashley games but we did play Winter Circle on YouTube so you can check that out if you want. But this game is not in, I don't think this game is a series actually. I don't think it ever got a sequel. And, uh, never have, uh, played it or anything, again, because it doesn't really have a series, so. Doesn't really have a series. It's just kind of by itself. You had a Barbie fashion game where you had cards and a scanner. I think I'm, I might have had that, Vera. I had some Barbie game that was like that. But I don't remember what it was. Hi, 
Anna. Hmm. I mean, the genre... I don't know. I don't know how much I want to give away. The one-off game. Yes, it is just by itself. No sequels, not a franchise, anything like that. Here you go, Ann. Here you go, Ann. Here you go, Ann. Ann, come on! It is not Oddworld. Zapper was a PS2 game where you played an electric cricket who had to save his brother from an evil bird lady after he gets kidnapped. That's interesting, Umbreons. I have never heard of that. I have never heard of that before. <laughs> oh my god, that was the winner's circle one, right? That was hysterical. Yes, right? <laughs> yeah. That was winner's circle. But there's another one called Magical Mystery Mall, and it has the dumbest story ever. And then there's one called Crush Course, I think, is the other Mary-Kate and Ashley game. I think I have all of them, and I'm I'm sure that I was I was feeling silly when I bought those. I'm just like, oh yeah, I want to buy these games. <laughs> like every time I feel like I have to explain myself and be like, listen, it's for the views, okay? <laughs> Not really. It plays a lot like Frogger. It totally buck bump. <laughs> I mean, Lacious, I understand because I could I could just be lying to everybody, and it could be Buck Bumble, and I could just be Rick rolling you. You don't know, but I'm not. Well, this is the last day of summer, everybody. Say goodbye to summer forever. I should go chop down stumps, actually. I don't quite know what we're guessing about, but it seems to be a game Kita's going to play in the future. Tomorrow, actually, Theron. Uh, Kat and I are going to be playing a game she doesn't know what it is, which is always fun for me. And um, I'm just waiting for her beautiful reactions. I, I really do predict a lot of... What? A lot of that. You know how Kat does that sometimes. I, I, I'm thinking a lot of that. It is not a two-player game. It's single-player. So I will be playing the game, and Kat will be um, going, what? <laughs> the whole time. Delicious. That would be cruel. It would be cruel. Oh, you gotta look. You gotta... Uh... A little squirrel here. He just chilling. Uh, maybe I'll actually go in the hot springs once I'm up here. Stream is 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But Thursday stream, party stream, is going to be at 5. So, just so you guys know, it's a little early so that we can go longer. <laughs> Cat, what? <laughs> you found it and it's called Barbie Design Ultimate Stylist. Interesting. That one I didn't play. I think I I think the one I played was just called Barbie Fashion Designer or something to that effect. I think I do have to upgrade the coop and the barn before I can upgrade my house, and that makes me really sad. I just want to upgrade my house. You know, I just want to upgrade my house. Is it snowboard kids? For the upgrades, it goes hen house, house, bar. Oh, it goes house after hen house. Sweet. So it's not hen house and then barn. 
Well, that's good to know. Because I thought I was going to have to... Uh, I really thought I was going to have to... Upgrade my house after the barn, which would suck because money. I'll see you later, Kaisenberg. Thanks for hanging out. Snowboard I liked Snowboard Kids too, though. Snowboard Kids 2 was actually pretty fun. I don't have the first one. I want to get it, though. I'd like to play it. The Barbie game you got with your 3DS is Barbie the Island Princess? Is it a 3DS game or a DS game? I've never played any of the handheld Barbie games. I only played the PC games. Also, it's very late. I need to go to bed. It's a DS game? Hmm. Only knew that so well because it always made it my mission when playing Dabble Fully Upgraded Farm. <laughs> By the time year two started. So I can focus on romance. Um, my dog is inside. Dog? Oh! Holy crap, my dog is suddenly gigantic. Big puppy. Look at this giant puppy dog. Four hearts, four hearts. <sighs> Stupid axe is taking forever. Pancakes has a lot of hearts. EG pancakes. Pumpkin popper. I like them big. I like them chunky. All right, what's the weather like? Sunny. Uh, what's today? Nothing special, okay. What is the third? Junky. Uh, music festival. Then we have the harvest festival. I don't remember the harvest festival. Do I have to bring a crop? I don't remember. Moon viewing day. And then Sheep Festival. And then on the 15th is Karen's birthday. So I'm definitely going to um, sp spring for some wine for her birthday because she loves it. Okay. Do you know the livestock never dying hack? No. I do not. What is that? Oh, bye, Kai. Hey, Waffles. Sup? Sup, my bro? Oh. I always assume they're just gonna start talking to me, but I actually have to walk over and talk to him. Summer's over, so I'm heading back south. Just wanted to say goodbye. Take care. Well, I mean, at least he was nice enough to say goodbye to me. They had a Wii version of Island Princess. Oh, God. We need to do a Wii shovelware <laughs> uh, stream. We need, we need it to happen. We'll close at 5 p.m. on day five of this month. That's so sad. I think that's because that's the anniversary of Anne's mom dying. Which is just really sad. We have apples now, also. Which is quite rude. If they come to your front door, should they start the conversation? I mean, I think so. Why did Kai say goodbye with the lewd face? I, I don't even know anymore. Ruffle season. Yes. The make bank. Truffles are worth a lot. You can get one every day. I'm gonna take my basket. We're gonna go foraging. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Mary Kane Ashley game you have is get a clue for Game Boy. I don't have any. I don't think I have any for Game Boy. 
but I'm sure it's fantastic. Apparently he's also into waffles. I mean, look at me. Who wouldn't want this? I ask you. All right, come on, basket. Let's go. I read Kaya's cat and thought, how did you know? <laughs> cat is a womanizer. Exposed. YouTuber exposed. Come on. Come on, jeez. Giving away egg, no poor puppy. Never egg, and he's not a puppy anymore. He's a big boy. He's he's all grown up now, Dooms. The cat's out of the bag, as they say. Now everybody knows the cat's a womanizer. I guess big boy. I'm gonna put that in my bag just in case. I feel like with my luck, I would miss the basket and then I would just cry. You know? Um, excuse you, mushroom. Hiding over here. Cat, how could you? No one is surprised. I mean, fact. Keep unleashing the tea tonight ahead of the big reveal. <laughs> yeah, I gotta spill that tea. And knows that if she tells you her true feelings with Papori hanging around, she's gonna get shanked. Egg will always be a papa to you. A papaya? I think that's a different thing. I don't know what herbosa is. I don't know what that means. It's a Gerudo in Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. I'm like Urbosa, like Barbosa. Probably not the same. Last week, Kat literally threw all her rupees at the Gerudo. A major player for sure. I believe you. The Gerudo are very pretty. What was it like where you used to live? Garbage. I want to go places. Okay, honey. Urbosa is a thick Gerudo woman. <laughs> are you saying... Are you, are you saying that she's a little... Is that what you're saying? Urbosa is a quality snack. I'm gonna message you a pic. Are you gonna send it to me on Discord? <laughs> oh my god. 
Yes, okay. Well, I'll open Discord then just for you to see this, uh, this snack, this quality snack. Hi, Dietrich. That's okay. All right, let's see this snack. Well, yes, yeah, sent me a, a link, ma'am. Keep moving the window over to this monitor. Oh, I see. Snack. I thought you, I thought you preferred your women to look more androgynous. Ma'am. <laughs> Can't just send mom. Nick. Oh, well, you tried, dragon. <laughs> I'm confused, cat. Now I just don't even know. I do, but she's muscular and six feet tall. Oh, okay, I see. The thirst is strong in this one. It is. You always have exceptions. I mean, I guess that's true. Aaron, do you like these? I know it's not wine, but you know, it's the thought. <laughs> Cat's just trying to get smashed. Oh, sorry, Theron. If you get your animals to hatch or be born on a festival day, the old man will not come to tell you about the death. I'm not sure if it'll work on the PS3 version, but it was something like something that I exploited all the time on PS1. So, does that mean they'll never die if you just do that once? Is that how that works? Breath of the Wild, the ultimate dating game. Karen, come on, girl. Karen, I gave you a garden, girl. <sighs> Jeff, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. How many eggplants you want, chat? Carrots are expensive, man. I think that particular animal won't die. Okay. Interesting. Live streams are nice because it feels like I'm hanging out with people. And you are hanging out with people. That is the nice thing about live streams. All right. Let's go. It means they will never die. Had chickens living past four years because the old man never showed up to tell me about the death. It means a little extra planning on when to put eggs in the incubator or when to give a cow or sheep a miracle potion, but oh, that specific animal will never die. That's interesting. Legends never die. All right, um, so guys, do you know which ones grow back and which ones don't for fall? I don't remember. I don't remember. Need to fix these. 
Eggplants, peppers, and sweet potatoes grew back. Okay, I didn't think that carrots did. Um, excuse you, I'm trying to hoe. Oops. Interrupt. Interrupt me while I'm hoeing. Just rude. The eggplants will go here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, I'm gonna go get the sweet potatoes. Hoeing around. Chunky puppy, could you stop peeing in the house? Karen's dad seems so nice. He's a shy bean. Hi. Today I brought you something special. This is not just an ordinary ball. You have a dog, right? So it's perfect for you. Um... Yes. Your dog will be very happy with this. Well, I must be going. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have to start practicing. So that our dog can learn how to fetch. Sweet potatoes. Wait, are these- no, those might have been the sweet potatoes and the- are these the eggplants? Well, I don't know. It's fine. We'll just- yeah, it's fine. Fine. These are carrots. I know that for sure. He didn't give us a price. It was a hun- it was 100. He did. It was 100. But we need to start training the dog for the frisbee festival. I think it's the frisbee. It's like the dog festival, but I think he has to run after a frisbee or something. I think it's in winter. Rude. Goodness me. You were shopping on eBay for some stuff and saw Superman 64 for $25. That's a rip off. Rip off. Gar bitch. Puppy, fetch. Hey, fetch. Good job. He's asleep. It's it's not really gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I haven't saved in a while. You wouldn't pay twenty five cents for that game. Did it at least have the box? Okay, it came with the box. All right, well, I guess. Hello there. Salt, star, power! Moonlit, thank you so much for the sub. Moonlit has subbed for 14 months. That is a long time. Thanks so much, Moonlit. For resubbing. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Mm. Boop. Ah. Fetch the ball, good oh. puppy. Ah. Ah. Go 
go get the ball. Thank you guys for following as well. Good puppy. I think you only need to do that once a day. But. Is this Anne's event? No. Waffles, are you there? Oh god. Are you gonna force me to confess? I confess. I've been going around screaming. Karen. At Karen. We are holding the music festival at the church at 6 p.m. tomorrow. I came here to ask you to participate. Uh, okay. Great. I want you to play the ocarina. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Do I look like Link? Don't be late tomorrow. Shove it up your butt. Well, friends, thank you for the 75 biddies. And then some. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Legend of Harvest Moon. I used to love uh, Epona's song from Ocarina of Time. It's like my favorite. Legend of Pancakes. Name is Waffles. Get away. Caught a hypno. There you go. You can sing the tune you have. Epona's song memorized. What are those purple emotes? Shorts, new to Twitch. Uh, the purple shorts are Mayor Lewis's shorts from Stardew Valley. There's a quest where you have to get his shorts out of a villager's bedroom. And, uh, you know, I thought that would make a great emote. Excuse you, horse. Listen here. Get back in there. Listen here. Get back in there. Song of Storms was your favorite. I like Song of Storms. There are some really good remixes of Song of Storms too. Freaking horse. Panties. Well, awesome. Also, for my tier three subs, they get uh, they get this great emote of just Lewis's face, his angry face. <laughs> Ashbrow just wanted to see the sun once again. No. No. No sunshine for Hashbrow. Oh no, Stargazing. Someone wrote lyrics for the Song of Healing. I think I really like it. Oh, that's cool. and putting them on display in the fall fair had nothing to do with it. I mean, we also put them in the soup, but... <laughs> we also put them on a sign in front of his house and labeled him. So, I mean, we, d we, did, we did those things, maybe. I thought 
that the spa boiled egg was a loved gift for Anne. Am I right in that? I hope so. <laughs> Take over as mayor. I mean, that was my plan. Oh my gosh, die trick, really? Why are you putting eggs in the spa? So that they taste like humans, obviously. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> they, the chickens wanted to go in the spa. They are her loved gift. That's my thought. I just wanted to make sure. And Anne, you keep talking to me about how you're dirty. Can you just have a blue heart, please? Please? Anne's playing hard. Everybody's playing hard to get, and I'm not about that. Meanwhile, Papori's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> but everybody else. Making things difficult. Oh, yeah, I'm marrying Karen. A Theron. Karen was my first Harvest Moon love. Hey, man. Okay. Now, see, this is a creepy thing to say to somebody. The church has a basement. That's where I sleep. Great! Anne is waiting for the golden spa build, boiled egg. Anne can shove it up her butt. She needs to work with me here a little bit. Run! <laughs> Carter is a vampire confirmed. I didn't know we were still playing vampire. Nothing creepy ever happened in a church. I keep trying to get events and I'm just not. Dude is straight at breaking the masquerade. Hi, Mary. like this music. <laughs> I love the fall music. It's so nice. He matches it. He does. Alright, we need to go foraging, get some money. Events start in third year. Well, I've seen some of them though. I don't mean the weddings, I mean just the basic events. Oh, 
rude? Thank you, jeez. Like, I saw one for Anne and Cliff, and I saw one for Gray and Mary. And I think I saw two for Karen and Rick. But I know there are more. Karen also likes berries. I'm gonna start buying her wine soon. forever to upgrade your axe. Okay, we'll go to the spa. Cry about it. Goodness me. Goodness me. I wish there was music at night instead of just weird noises. You know? See you later, Kuro. What are, what are we at? 301. Okay. Lovely. You should save. You should shove it up your butt. Don't tell me what to do. One thing you didn't like about Tale of Two Towns is that you can upgrade once a season. You mean your tools? Because if so, that's lame. Oh, 
apples and housing. Good puppy. Thank you. Ha. Ah. Oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow. We have the music festival today, which I think is in the evening. I think. Could be a problem. If I'm wrong. <laughs> in the evening. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Thanks, Wolf Prince. Oh, geez. That would be so frustrating. Not being able to upgrade. I mean, I get, you know, not wanting the games to be stale you're putting out new ones, but certain mechanics I don't feel like they need to be changed. You know? Tale, Tale of Two Towns is a fun game, but it, it got weird mechanics. Of course. Trying to escape. Horse! Come on! What an ass. Get back in there. He just goes. Goodness. Dating and trying to romance in Tale of Two Towns was my least favorite part of the game. It was very frustrating. Why is that? You have to take your love interest out on dates and to trigger their heart events. It needs to be on certain days during certain weather. I think during certain times and if it rains or storms or anything, you've got to wait until the next available day. Like say a date is only available to a certain person on Tuesday. If it rains that Tuesday, you got to wait until the next Tuesday to try to trigger it. Oh, that would be annoying. But yeah, I don't want to play a game that is annoying. <laughs> has annoying mechanics.
All right, you whiner. Please. Cry about it. mechanic from Tale of Two Towns you remember liking is the irrigation mechanics. Oh, that is nice. To get married in Tale of Two Towns, you must also befriend your your interests family members? Oh geez, imagine if you had to do that in real life. Well, that would not be good. I mean, just think, you could take all that effort and put it towards romancing the Kappa. <laughs> Having a loving relationship with the Kappa. Somebody else said, back to nature. I felt like the only one. Angelic goddess. Everybody was saying their favorite harvest moons. They were all harvest moons that I didn't play. 148. Good lord, this axe, though. Taking forever? I'd rather have a relationship with this Kappa, stargazing. DJM disgraceful. Banned, blocked, reported. Back to Nature is your favorite. It's the first one you played. The one you readily go back to besides here at Bleak Valley. <laughs> well. Either at five or six, I'm not sure. Six o'clock it is. If the homeland was your first harvest moon, I am surprised that you played others after that. Save the homeland isn't super great. As we have discovered. Hi, Cliff. Master told me to come listen to Anne's flute. Is that what we're calling it? Pastor Carter also told me to come. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, you, you enjoy that. Actually, I've sung at the music festival myself, but that was when I was young and spoiled. Now only my drunkard husband is beside me. Good, okay. This lady spilling the tea. I did not need that. Thank you, though. Music is good for the long autumn nights. Okay. Mm, this is just awkward now. <laughs> la la la. Yes, okay. Waffles, you mustn't go outside. I wasn't trying to. I'm sorry. I was trying to turn. Even if I make a mistake, I think Ellie can cover it up. Let's just relax and play. Hey, blue heart, blue heart, blue heart. That's where it's at. 
This is nice. There's nothing better than music for relaxing. It's good that the villagers produce their own music festival rather than hiring professionals. I mean... Karen's gonna sing. She's so awesome. Stay away from my lady. Stay away. I want to sing a song at the music festival when I grow up. Oh, I'm so nervous. I hope I don't make any mistakes. Oh, I... okay. I'm playing the organ today. I studied a little when I was young. Okay. Let's get this party started. Can I confess? Probably not. Alright. <laughs> yes. Do it. Good. Good. That was fun. I'll be sleeping good tonight. Waffles is playing in ocarina. So beautiful, cries. <laughs> so beautiful. Also, I just realized that I went to the wrong screen after uh, we looked at dueling jars. I went to the other layout, and it's supposed to be this one. So there you go. I fixed it. Puppy. Here you go, puppy. Oh. Fetch. If Karen wasn't oh. fab to someone before, she should be now. See? Karen's best waifu. It'll be nice and sunny tomorrow. Okay. You weren't going to say anything. I'm just in the habit of going to the other screen. Because the other one is what I use for anything 1080p or 720p. I don't have to bother any of this crap. Karen is always the best. I mean, true. This is fact. Okay, monitor. Thank you for freaking out. Got some loud chickens. Excuse me. Uh oh. Uh oh. This isn't good. I did not realize that I was out of chicken feed. And I'm pretty sure they're closed on Sundays. So. Yep. Rip. They are closed, because that is my life. The one day they're closed. Free scumbags, it's the cops! And this is our crime scene! 
Free scumbags. Kimmy! Thank you for the raid. Hi, Kimmy. How are you doing? Kimmy raid? Better be prepared to buy an animal medicine. Yeah. Probably. But I have money, so it's fine. Salt, star, power! Kimmy, thank you for the reset for 14 months. Kimmy says also happy 14. Thank you so much, Kimmy. I hope you're, uh, hope you had a good stream. Hope you're having a good day. Kimmy was playing Blackwell Unbound. What? Kimmy. Kimmy, every time you raid, I'm just like, what game is that? What? What? I don't even know. Blackwell games are good. Glad we've been raided three times already. I'm, I'm tired of ha hiding and waiting for the cops to go away. Well, it's too bad, Lacious. Get good. Get good, Lacious. Get good, be good. And then the cops won't come after you. Thank you for shouting out Kimmy, by the way. Guys, go follow Kimmy. Go give her a follow from me. Or me. From me. Either way. this egg. Blackwell games are really good. Could see you enjoying the story, but I know how you feel about point and clicks. Yeah. He does have a blue heart. It's true. Now we just need Mary and Karen to get to a blue heart. Okay. Do you like this? He does. Need to go get the rest of the foraging stuff. We'll make you work. Get the truffle all the way up here. How has Harvest Moon been? Pretty good. We watched some fireworks with Karen. We made it to fall. Working on romancing pretty much everybody. I 
I did forget chicken feed. I just didn't know that I was running out of chicken feed. If I had known, I would have bought some. I didn't realize I was so low. You cannot forget what you do not know. And that is your wisdom for today. I see your axe is covered in the blood of your enemies. There is. You know how I do. So yes, one of my chickens might be upset. Because the stupid store is closed today. Because of course it is. got really quiet for some weird reason. Three hundred and seventy-three. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. One sixty percent for this axe. I swear. I'm just gonna throw it into the abyss. You know, Wolf Prince? You know what, Wolf Prince? Hey, puppy. Where's your paw? Where did your paw go? What? Well, I don't have it. Where did it go? The ball has disappeared? What? Well, it is not in there. I think that's the potluck festival, so anything that's not a poisonous mushroom should be okay. Okay, I couldn't remember the harvest festival. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Where did the ball go, though? This is a real question. If your ball vanishes, you can buy another one. It should not have vanished. I feel very gypped right now. I'm very upset. I am very upset. Your balls should not vanish. That is not a good thing. Check the doghouse. Okay. Egg's doghouse. Nope. It just yeeted itself into space. I guess. If your balls are vanishing, you should go see a doctor. I, I would agree with that. PSA. If your balls vanish, please see a doctor. Yeet. Uh, Theron, do you know if you can buy... Can you buy a new one from Juan's shop? Or do you have to wait until he shows up again at your house? Egg probably ate <laughs> Be surprised, he's a chunk. He is a little bit just a little bit. I think you can buy it from his shop, but I'm not 100% certain. <laughs> 
This is why I want the giant stream deck, so I can just have even more songs instead of having to... and sound effects, instead of having to make more folders. <laughs> but that thing is really expensive. Hi, fairs. What if only one ball vanished? Do I still have to go to the hospital? Yes. Even if it's just one, you should still go to the hospital, probably. Egg is hiding the balls one by one. He's just starting a collection, I guess. You can only buy it when he shows up at your house. I need to go get you food, so hang tight. I think Egg is eating them. It would not surprise me. Alright, let's go get some chicken feed. Chicken feed! Chicken feed. Yes, I need chicken feed. I just yelled that. I would like a million, please. Uh, yeah. No, I wanted to buy that. Ma'am! Ma'am. 99. Yes, I know that you don't do anything on Sunday. I'm very aware. My chicken went hungry because of that. Uh, I'm not gonna start taking the chickens outside because I see no point in doing that. Because I would just have to bring them back inside at the end of the night because I would not want to leave them out overnight. So it's just faster to leave them where they are. Also, it's not like in other games where they get affection for being outside, so there's really no point. I did look very disappointed when I said I wasn't going to buy anything. He did. gonna double check and make sure that I can't buy the ball. that he shows up. Come on, dude. Hi, Kira. Welcome back. Fine. Fine. 
I'll just leave. Fine. That's okay, Theron. These arrival events are just not happening. Theron! some stuff. Drop down some trees. had two before? Really? You bought them from Juan at different times? Huh. I didn't think he would ask you to buy one if you already had one. Dude, you call a doctor if somebody else lost their balls? I mean, if they're incapable of calling the doctor, then you could certainly do it for them. I mean, that's what being a good friend is all about, really. See how we're doing. Uh, all right, almost 400, which is good. Pancakes has tons of hearts, which is great because I want pancakes to uh, own at the next chicken festival, though. That is good.
I don't remember if I took care of the horse. I guess so. No, you are not escaping. When does the part-time job at the vineyard start? I think pretty soon. I was waiting for that. I think it... I think it's somewhere around like the... 8th? Maybe a little bit before? I don't know off the top of my head. Will we be getting rid of Cliff? No, we're not going to get rid of Cliff. <laughs> Poor Cliff. No, we're not getting rid of him. He's stargazing. I mean, that is an option. It is an option, but I don't think I've ever done that. Just me. And then he would be gone forever. Yeah, anyway, what do you have against Cliff? Dara gazing, what do you have against Cliff? What has he ever done to you? All right, guys, well, it is uh, a little after 11. So I think I am going to wrap it up for tonight.